It is Wednesday now, and Ben and I are gonna go get lunch at this place called Crew Cafe. And yeah. <laughs> Ben and I are done at Crew Cafe now. It was pretty good. Got my coffee. And now we're going to walk around the shops and just generally look around at places we haven't looked at yet. guys it is later on now it's about 3 15 ish and ben and i are getting ready to go to the beach we're going to second beach today which is the beach we went to on the first day we were here and we went to easton's beach like two days ago but personally i like second beach better i feel like the sand is nicer and the waves are nicer i just like it better so that's where we're going Earlier, we were just walking around the Newport town area, um, looking at different stops, stops, looking at different shops and um, different things that they have in the town area. We looked at Trinity Church and there was a lady in there giving tours. So we got a tour of Trinity Church. And what else happened? I don't really know. We were just basically looking at all of the buildings because they're all old and cute. So I enjoyed that. Um, we have a reservation for dinner at 8.45. So that will be late, but um, I'm looking forward to it. It's at a place called The Mooring. And Ben and I wanted to get lobster there, so I'm looking forward to that. Are you looking forward to it, Ben? Well, I'm listening, so yes. <laughs> Ben's trimming up his beard. Because it's getting a little unruly. <laughs> you ready? Ready. Let's go to the beach. The beach is kind of cold. I feel like it's colder than most other beaches I've been to. With the wind. So I've been wearing my long sleeve t-shirt. And I bring my sweatshirt. Which I put on at the beach too. Because it is chilly. But yeah. This is my beach outfit. <laughs> Let's go. My hair is still wet, but Ben and I are going now to eat dinner at the morning. Hopefully my hair dries by the time we get there. <laughs> but here's my outfit. It's the same as one of my outfits from Myrtle Peach last summer. But this dress is from Lulu's. My shoes are from Marshall's. Necklace is Etsy. And um, my earrings are loft. Yes. Ooh. 
You ready to go? Yep, I'm hungry. Okay. We got a lobster with potatoes. Ben's putting his bib on. <laughs> and we're sitting by, what do you call this? A port? This would be... A harbor? I don't really know. But here we go. Mm -mm -mm. Thursday now and Ben and I are going to visit the mansions that are along the cliff walk we got a ticket for five different mansions I think we can pick whichever ones we want to look at I know we want to do the breakers I think the elms is another popular one and then we'll figure out what other ones we're gonna do from there but first we're gonna stop to get a coffee and something to eat at are we going to that place again wherever you want to go i think we're going to go to custom house coffee again because that was my fave coffee place i'm wearing my jumpsuit again i think i wore this the first night we were here i tried to put on shorts that i wore last summer and they did not fit me it was very unsettling so i just went back to my trusted jumpsuit that i know fits me and that's comfortable We're done with coffee now, and we are going to look at the mansions. I think we're starting with the Breakers, which is the biggest and most popular one, and then working our way down from there. All of the mansions are kind of in the same area of the town, and most of them are lining the ocean, although the elms, I don't think it is. But they're all in this same neighborhood and there's like sidewalks lining the streets a lot of them are covered with hedges <laughs> so the peasants can't see inside we already saw the outside of a lot of the mansions because they're lining the cliff walk which we did already we just want to see the inside of them now and kind of go up close because they're kind of far away on the cliff walk. We have arrived at the Breakers! Just need to park. Hopefully we find a spot.
We just got done touring the breakers. Now we're going to tour Marble House. I wanted to do this one because I heard them talk about the women's suffrage movement or something. This lady was a little bit more involved in. One of the Vanderbilt ladies. And apparently she like had meetings at this house and stuff. So I thought that would be interesting. Let's go do it. visiting the Elms, which is another mansion. I think it's probably the second most popular mansion here. Let's do this. Too hot in there? Yep. <laughs> Let's go. Arriving at the Elms.
This is where the servants would be. The peasants walking around down here so no one knows they exist. <laughs> Ben and I are driving now after going to the Elms. We saw three different mansions today. The Breakers, Marble House, and the Elms. And now we're going to get something to eat. I kind of want some fish and chips. I think I kind of convinced Ben of that too. <laughs> so we're going to this place called Fastnet Pub, um, which is just like a typical pub. And they have Apparently good fish and chips, according to the reviews on Google. Ben and I just ate fish and chips at that place. It was pretty good. Now, we're doing the ocean drive for real this time. Guys, it is Friday and it's our last day in Newport. Oh my god. Are you sad, Ben? Mm -hmm. And um, we got that five mansion tour ticket thing and we did three yesterday. So we have two more to do today. And we want to do Rosecliff and some other one that we haven't decided yet. So we'll decide that later on. <laughs> I need to look up more about them because I don't know much about them. But yeah, that's what's happening. And we're gonna go to Custom House, which is our favorite coffee we found here, and get something to eat, get some coffee, and then head to the mansions. And we wanted to do Fort Adams today, right? Okay. Which is, is it like a park? I don't like it. I think it's a state park here, um, and I think it's free, but I'm not positive. I guess we'll find out. I also want to go to the beach. But I want to do Fort Adams, and I want to do the beach, and I want to do everything else. <laughs> My battery died yesterday in the middle of the ocean drive, so I stopped vlogging yesterday after that, but I got it charged and we're back together again. I got some souvenirs when we toured the mansion yesterday. It's mostly mugs, <laughs> cause I really like mugs and I think they make a good souvenir. So I got this Votes for Women mug, which is from the women's suffrage movement. And one of the Vanderbilt gir girls was involved with it. I forget her name. <laughs> Do you remember her name? 
Do you remember which Vanderbilt girl was involved with that women's suffrage movement? We really paid, paid attention on the tour, clearly. I also got this little tea bag holder thingy, which I thought was cute. I got this mug that has basically all of New England on it, including where we are. Where is it at? Focus for me. Newport, Rhode Island. There we go. Very nice. We have arrived at Rosecliff. Are you excited? I'm pumped. This Let's is a good one, I can tell already. Ben and I just did Rosecliff. Rose. Now we're going into Chateau Sur Mer. Chateau Neuf de Pas. I think it's Sur Mer, but I'm not positive. But yeah. Chateau Sur Mer. What do you think of Rosecliff? I liked Rosecliff. That's all I have to say. It seemed to be the most livable. Yeah. I thought it was the most aesthetically pleasing like the most I would like to live in but it was the least interesting historically zero history because they didn't have as many bedrooms set up with furniture and stuff they only had like one bedroom basically and then the ballroom and the library and the dining area and that was it yeah it's not as large in terms of living it's more like a huge entertaining space and now it's like a just a giant wedding venue pretty much yeah but it was very pleasing to look at. And I did like the ballroom area too. And oh, it would be crazy to have the a wedding backyard. There. The backyard was incredible. Mm hmm. All right, let's go into Chateau, whatever, blah, blah. Ben and I are done with the Chateau Sur Mer mansion. And now we're at Fort Adams. The Chateau mansion was not my fave. Probably my least favorite out of all the mansions we visited. It was just very dark, very masculine, very ugly in my opinion. <laughs> what do you think? Yep. He agrees. Yeah. Now we're at Fort Adams. I don't really know what's at this place. I'm assuming there's a fort. There's at least a pier. Let's go.
Ben and I are about to head out for our last dinner in Newport. Oh my god, I can't believe it has come. My hair's still wet again, but hopefully it dries. Um, it's cold out, so I have a sweater on and jeans. We're going back to the Red Parrot because they have a big menu and we're gonna find something there. You ready? Yes, I am. Look how nicely pressed Ben's shirt is. Look at that crease. That's a professional crease. <laughs> I did that because yeah, I can't I stand a wrinkly shirt. Yeah, and that one was pretty wrinkly. You ready? Yep. The vacation is officially over. Ben and I are almost home now. We're gonna see Eloise. She has not been happy since we've been gone. Apparently she's been really scared of my mom who's been going to take care of her and will not interact with her and will not interact with anybody. She's been the B word, brat. <laughs> so we're excited to see her. Got my sweatshirt on and I'm ready to see Eloise. I'm curious as to what her reaction is gonna be. She might go crazy or she might be very subdued because she'll be confused. 